Hello students, welcome back into my channel. In this video, I will explain how you find the solutions of a past paper from Cambridge Assessment International Education. Uh, this past paper, paper three, pure mathematics three, May, June 2023, 9709-31. Okay, let's start with number one. Okay, solving these equations gives the answer to three decimal places. Okay, I will start with multiply these equations with e to the power to x. So it's gonna be three e power four x minus four e power zero because negative two x plus two x equals five e power two x. So it becomes 3 e power 2x squared minus 5 e power 2x minus 4 equals 1 equals 0, I mean. Now, if x equals e power 2x, so this equation becomes 3x squared minus 5x minus 4 equals 0. Okay. Equals 0. So a equals 3 b negative 5, and c negative 4. Through this formula, we can determine uh, x values minus b plus minus square root b squared minus 4ac over 2a. It becomes 5 plus minus 25 minus 4 times 3 times negative 4 over 2 times 3, 6 becomes 5 plus minus square root 25 of 25 plus 48 okay. plus 6 5 plus minus 73 over 6 5 plus minus square root 73 8.544 over 6. It means x1 equals 5 plus 8.544 uh, over 6. It is plus and divided, okay, with calculator, 2.25734, while x2 equals 5 minus 8.544 over 6 equals negative 0. 
Uh, suggesting to these equations, e power to x, okay, that x equals e power to x, okay. Now, if x equals 2.25734, it means e power to x equals 2.25734 <clears throat> using ln, ln e power to x equals ln 2.25734 or 2x times ln e equals ln 2. Point two five seven three four. Then it equals one. So two x equals then this one. This number is zero point eight one four one eight seven. So x equals. 0 0.814187 over 2 equals 0 0.407093 and approximately becomes 0 0.407. This one. Now, how about a x equals this number, and that is 0 0.59067. So it means e power to x equals negative 0 0.59067 by ln, plus ln negative 0, Point five nine zero six seven. Uh, for this then there is no solution. So it means x this one zero point four zero seven. So a sketch this graph. Y equals to modulus 2x plus 3. Okay, I'm going to using this table for assist me to sketch this graph. Okay, x, y. If x negative 3, okay, 2 times negative 3, negative 6. Negative 6 plus 3, negative 3, but modulus negative 3 plus 3. And if x negative 3 half times 2, 0, because negative 3 plus 3. And if x equals 0, y equals 3. Okay, this is x axis and y axis. Negative one, negative two, negative three. One, two, three. Okay. I'm going to using this color. Uh, negative three comma three right here okay then this one this coordinate point negative three half comma zero and this 
at point zero comma three after that connecting this coordinate point. Okay, on your paper you may using a ruler. Okay, that's the graph. Solve this inequality to x plus a greater than modulus to x plus three. Okay, there are two condition uh, regarding this uh, inequalities uh, about this, especially about this modi uh, this modulus that 3x plus 8 equals 2x plus 3, positive 2x plus 3, and 3x plus 8 plus negative 2x plus 3. So 3x minus 2x, 3 minus 8, and this one, 3x plus 2x equals negative 3 minus 8. x equals negative 5. It's 1, 5x equals negative 11. So x equals negative 11. Fifth, mm -hmm. this number line, this strike line, okay, negative five, negative eleven fifth. So we are going to find uh which area, whether this area. Uh, this area in the middle and the right side area, which one area is the solutions area for this inequality? Okay. So I'm going to find a number less than negative five, uh, in negative six, and substitute into this inequality. Three times negative six plus eight greater than two times negative six plus three negative eighteen plus eight greater than negative twelve plus three negative ten greater than uh, nine. Okay, because modulus negative nine is positive nine. This is false. Now a number between negative five and negative eleven over five. I'm gonna take negative four. If what if negative four? Negative four plus eight. Two times negative four plus three, negative twelve plus eight, greater than negative eight plus three. This is negative five, this one five. False. So it means a false, it means this area. I not include the solutions area and this area as well is not include of this area. Probably this area, but we have to check first. If zero, a number greater than negative 11 over five, we're taking zero. If zero, three times zero plus eight greater than two times zero plus 
going to be 8 greater than 3. Correct. True. It, if true, it means this area is the solutions area. What kind of area this? Area X greater than negative 11, 5. Yeah, this area. Number three, find the coefficients of x cubed in the binomial expansion. I'm going to change this expressions becomes 3 plus x times square root. I, sorry. I mean, or x. Uh, power half, I mean, one for x power half. So, based on binomial expansions rule, we could write down like this. Three plus x times one power half plus combination one half one power half. Okay. Minus uh minus zero. Okay. times 4x, combinations, half is 2, 1 power half minus 1, okay, times 4x squared, okay, this is 4x, 4, 1, plus combinations, 3, half, 1 power half minus 2 okay, times 4x cube, so on. It's until here because uh, we just need to find coefficients of x cube. So after that, 3 plus x times 1 plus, I'm going to skip this because unuseful for us. Just this term and this term. And it becomes half times half minus 1. Okay, over two factorials, and then times 4x squared. What's this one? Half times half minus 1, half minus 2, over three factorials times for x cube. And we can continue to okay, to continue with uh, with this term and this term. Okay, no need one. Okay. And so no need because we just we just need uh this the terms because we are going to find the coefficients of x cubed. Okay, so it means it's going to be half times minus half over 2, 16x squared. 
This one as well, half. Negative half, negative three half. Okay, six because three factorials. And times sixty-four. X cubed. It becomes three plus x. Okay. This one becomes negative one eight. Okay, times 16 x squared. And this one becomes 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, equals 8. Okay. So, and 48. Yeah, 3. Negative 3. I'm uh, sorry, a positive because it's negative. Okay, three over two times two times two, eight, eight times six. Okay, comes this is negative two x squared. Plus, uh, if you divide it, if you times and divide it, it becomes 4x cubed. Yeah. And then, if x times negative 2x squared, we times negative 2x cubed. And if 3 times 4x cubed, becomes 12x cubed. So negative 2 plus 12, 10x cubed. So the coefficient. Is 10. Number 4. Show that the equation sine two theta plus cosine two theta equals two sine squared theta can be expressed in the form cosine squared theta plus two sine theta cosine theta. Okay, minus three sine squared theta. Okay, right. Uh, sine two theta plus cosine two theta equals two sine squared theta. Okay. Uh, identity trigonometry trigonometric identity. Uh, of sine to theta is two sine theta cos theta. Okay, and then cosine to theta equals cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. So we are going to to change this expression becomes this <clears throat> this equation. So based on this trigonometric identity, this equation becomes sine two theta uh, change with this one, this expressions Two sine theta cosine theta, okay, plus cosine to theta, change with these expressions cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta, okay, equals two sine squared theta, okay. 
and after that cosine squared theta plus two sine theta cosine theta okay minus sine square theta minus this two sine square theta equals zero so it becomes cosine square theta plus two sine theta cosine theta minus three sine squared theta equals zero. Okay. Proof. So one. And solve the equation sine two theta plus cosine two theta equals two sine squared theta. Uh, on for A on the previous explanation that I have shown you that uh, these equations you can uh, you can change becomes these equations okay this one yeah so we can change these equations becomes cosine square theta plus two sine theta cosine theta minus three sine squared theta equals zero. Okay. Okay. So if you ask me, uh, so why did uh, suddenly we uh, find this uh, solutions? Okay. Because from these equations, we already change becomes these equations on for a. Next, if x equals cosine theta and y equals sine theta, it means these equations we can write down becomes x squared plus 2xy minus 3y squared equals 0. And we can change becomes a factorization x, x, okay, plus 3y times minus y, okay. So x plus 3y equals 0 or x minus y equals zero. Okay. It means there are two possibilities. Cosine theta plus three sine theta equals zero or cosine theta minus sine theta equals zero. <clears throat> So it becomes 3 sine theta equals negative cosine theta. And this one, sine theta equals cosine theta. So sine theta over cosine theta equals negative one third. Well, this one, sine theta over cosine theta equals positive 1. This is tangent. Tangent theta equals negative 1 third. This one, tangent theta equals 1. So tangent power negative 1, 1 third. equals 
Well, this one, tangent power negative, uh, tangent power negative one. One is a 45. Okay, so it means this theta, okay, theta one is 45, while theta two, 180 minus 18.435. So equals 161.565 approximately becomes 161.6. So there are two failures of theta because tangent are positive on to two quadrants, okay. This quadrant and this one, this quadrant, okay. Uh, first quadrant and the third quad, uh, the third quadrant. So from uh, 45, yeah, from 45, this, and and on this area first, and, and this area as well, okay. Five, the equations of a curve is x squared y minus a y squared equals four, a cube, okay, where A is a non-zero constant, so that divide the x, okay. <clears throat> so we are going to find uh, this one. Okay, we're going to find the first derivative of this these equations. And the derivative of these equations is x squared uh, times dy dx, okay? After that, uh, derivative of y, after the derivative of x becomes Two x, okay. Two x is the derivative of x squared, okay. After that, the derivative of this term, okay. Two a y, okay. Dy dx, okay. Equals the derivative of this one constant is zero. Next, so x squared dy dx, okay, plus uh, this one plus, you no, know, not minus, because uh, derivative of, still derivative of this, this term, okay. x, y, okay. Uh, or I will, Like negative story. Okay, this term will move here because I'm going to factorize. Because negative. 2xy. Now so let's factorize this times x squared minus 2ay. Negative 2xy.
So dy dx equals negative 2xy over x squared minus 2ay. So if times times negative 1 times negative 1, it's going to be uh, better here. Two x y becomes positive over two a y minus x squared. Okay, so with this one. Hence, find the coordinates of the points where the tangent of the curve is parallel to the y-axis. Okay, if tangent, tangent it means we are going to find the derivative, okay. and uh, then if parallel to y-axis, it means uh, the gradient should be undefined. If parallel to the x-axis, okay, this for note, if parallel to the x-axis, okay, gradient should be zero. If parallel to the y-axis, gradient should be undefined. Undefined, it means a number x over zero, yeah. That's we are going to find uh, this notes, this information. Okay. Right. And we're going to find the coordinate point. So I'm going to start with uh with this equation that two a y e minus x squared equals zero. Okay. Because of this. Okay. So if Undefined, so if m equals uh, dy dx of this one, so it means if m is undefined, it means this denominator equals zero, a number, a number equals zero. So it means uh, 2ay minus x squared equals zero. So therefore, I'm going to using this, okay. 2ay minus x squared equals zero. So it means x squared equals 2ay. So x squared y minus ay squared equals 4a cube yeah uh to this equation this the first equations and this one the second equations okay uh i'm going to i'm going to substitute this these expressions to a y into these equations Okay, x squared, I'm going to change with 2ay, okay. So it becomes 2ay times y minus ay squared equals 4a cubed. Becomes 2ay squared minus ay squared for a cube, two minus one, 
for a cube, okay? Uh, divided by a, so y squared equals four a squared, okay? So y equals square root four a squared. y equals plus minus 2a, okay. Okay. So if, now we're going to check. If y equals plus 2a, it means this equation, x squared minus, uh, just now, 2a, y equals zero, it becomes x squared equals two a y, okay? So x squared equals two a times two a. Why? Because y equals two a. So x squared equals four a squared. So it means x, equals square root for a squared. It is plus minus two a. Okay. Now, so how about if y equals negative two a? Okay. So this equation becomes x squared 2a times negative 2a. So x squared equals negative 4a squared. x equals square root negative 4a squared. And there is no solution for this. It means the coordinate point the coordinate point are two A, comma two A. Okay. Because if If x equals 2a, y equals 2a. And negative 2a, comma, 2a. Yeah. Number six, relative to the origin of the points a, b, and c. The positions factors given by OA, OB, OC. Okay. The quadrilateral ABCD is a parallelogram. Find the position factor of D. Okay. I'm going to sketch this parallelogram. Okay. ABC. D. Okay. Uh, AD equals BC and AD parallel with DC. And then AB parallel with DC. So AB equals DC. AB equals DC while AD equals BC. Okay. If AD equals BC, okay, it means position factor OD. Okay. OD, this one. Okay. Minus position vector OA 
equals percent factor OC minus OB. Or OD equals OA plus OC minus OB. OA is one, two, one, three, plus OC is one, three, negative two, negative four, minus OB, four, three, two. Five minus four, one. Uh, negative one minus three. Negative four. Three minus four, negative one. Negative one minus two. Negative three. Okay. So this this is D. So position vector OD equals this one, or in vector OD, you may writing as I minus four J minus three K. B, the angle between BA and BC is theta. Find the exact values of cosine theta. Okay. I'm going to sketch the parallelogram first. Okay. A. Uh, B A and B C B A and B C it means this is theta okay okay except failure of cosine theta so B A equals yeah, O A okay position factor O A minus position factor O B this is now O A equals two one three O B yeah, O B equals four three two okay. so it is minus two Minus two and yeah one because three minus two. Next, this is B A. Now we're going to find B C. Okay. B C. Okay. B C equals position vector O C minus position vector O B. Okay. O C equals three negative two negative four and OD same as one three minus four negative one and this one negative five negative six right Cosine theta equals B A times B C A over modulus B A times modulus B C. Okay. B A 
times BC, okay. negative 2 times negative 1, 2, plus negative 2 times, just now negative 2 times negative 1, this one, positive 2, negative 2 times negative 5, positive 10, 1 times negative 6, negative 6 over modulus BA, this one, square root 4 plus 4 plus 1, because this is 4, 4, 1, square root 9, and this one, uh, square root 1, square root 5, 25, and square root 6. 36. So this is 6 over 3 square root. And this one, 1 plus this is 61, 62. Okay. So if you simplify this, 65 by 3, 2, so 2 over 62. So cosine theta equals 2 over square root 62. And find the area of ABCD, giving your answer in the form P square root Q where P and Q are integers, okay. I'm going to sketch first this parallelogram, okay. Okay, and we're going to find area A, A B, C, D, but I will divide this parallelogram becomes two uh becomes two triangle so if this is theta just now that cosine theta equals two over square root sixty two so now we are going to find sine theta. How much? I'm going to create this right angle triangle. If this is theta, cosine theta equals 2 over square root uh, 62. It means 60, square root 62 here and to this one. So about this one, this this side is square root. Okay, sixty two plus four plus two square. So it becomes square root. Ah, uh, sorry, not plus but minus. Sorry. Okay, it is square root uh, 58. So sine theta equals square root 58 over square root 62, right? Area triangle ABC equals half times modulus AB times modulus BC, AB and BC. Okay. Sin theta. So it becomes square root, okay. modulus AB, just now this one, okay. modulus AB, this one, 9, okay. Uh, square root 9 or 3, okay, times 3. 
uh, modulus BC. This one, square root 62. Sine theta, A square root 58 over square root 62. So it becomes 3 half, okay, divided, square root 58. That's area ABC. So how would area parallelogram? Area ABCD equals two times area ABC, area triangle ABC. It means two times three half square root 58. Okay. Divide it, it's one, and it is three square root. 58 okay. based on this form. Seven, the variables x and y satisfy the differential equations okay, of these equations, where x in a power 0 to 1 fourth pi, it is given that y equals 0 when x equals 1 6 pi. Solve the differential equation to obtain the value of x when y equals 1 6 pi. Give your answer correct to three decimal places. So if x equals 1 6 pi and y equals 0, uh, the differential equation be becomes like this one. And then if x 1 6 pi, so how much X, we are going to find the field of X. Okay. Uh, first, I will change the subject if this one, the subject cosine to X dy dx. Uh, I'm going to change the subject become sine squared ty dy. So it becomes sine squared cy. Okay, dy equals 4 tangent to x over cosine to x dx. Or, uh, wait, sorry. Yeah. Or I can a simplify becomes four tangent to x, one over cosine to x equals second to x. Okay. Well, sine squared three y dy equals four tangent to x, second to x dx. Okay, and then integrals. Next, uh, I'm going to find first this integral. Integral to uh, sine squared 2y dy. Okay. Let u equals, uh, sorry, not u, but I mean. I will begin from the trigonometric identity. That cosine 2y equals 1 minus 2 sine squared y. So 2 sine squared y equals 1 minus cosine 2y. or sine squared y equals half times one minus cosine two y. Okay. 
Okay. And sine squared three y equals half times one minus cosine six y. I mean six. So integral sine squared three y dy uh, same with half integrate. 1 minus cosine 6y dy. Okay. And it is, the outcomes of this integration is y minus 1, 6 integral cosine sine plus c. Uh, after this, this integration. Or tangent to x, second to x, the x. Okay. So this one half times y minus one six second six y plus c okay for this one for these integrations uh the first step that if u to x it means the u equals two dx or of the u equals the x. So this integration being like this um, being u, okay, tangent u second u times of the u. So it becomes two because four times half change in u second u the u okay if p equals second u the u so the v The phi equals tangent u second u the u okay so integral the phi equals integral tangent u second u the u right. If we put here, two here as well, two in front, okay. So it's going to be two second. This uh, this integrates integrations two second. Yeah, two second u plus c, or two second two x plus c, All right? So this integration's outcomes I'm going to use this color. Two second to x plus c. Okay. I'm going to continue. Uh, I better. Okay. Ready? So integral okay. integral sine squared two y as 
2i dy equals integral for tangent to x second to x dx. Uh, this integration becomes uh, this integration is which one this one okay half times y minus one six sine six y okay, equals this one two second to x plus c okay so to be that there is c here but uh i just writing one c here okay based on the question this that if if y equals zero x equals pi over 6. Okay. Then y equals 0, x equals pi 6. So sub, uh, substitute into these equations, it's going to be half. Times zero minus one six sine six times zero, okay, equals two. Uh, second, I'm going to change becomes one over cosine two okay, times x. Let's see. It's going to be half times zero minus one six times zero because sine zero equals zero. And this is two over cosine pi third plus c. Okay. Zero. Two over half plus c. It is zero equals four plus c. So it means c equals negative four. Okay, c equals negative four. If c equals negative four, it means this. Uh, expressions two second to x plus c being two second to x minus four and implicated to these equations half times y minus one six sine 6y equals 2 second to x minus 4. Okay. Not minus c anymore. Not plus c anymore, I mean. And I'm going to change this second to x becomes 2 over 2 over cosine to x. Okay, 2 over cosine to x minus 4. Or half times y minus 1, 6. Okay, sine uh, sin 6y plus 4. 
2 over cosine 2x. Okay. Or if cosine 2x is the subject, it is 2 over half times y minus 1, 6 sine 6y, six okay, plus 4. Now, when y equals pi over 6, how much x? You know, find x. So substitute y uh, into this equation. So cosine to x plus two over y over six minus one over six sine six times y over six plus four. So it is 2 over pi over 12 minus 1 over 12 okay, sine pi plus 4. It is 2 over pi over 12 okay, minus zero plus four two over uh three point one four over twelve plus four calculator I'm gonna calculate first okay this one four point two six one seven Zero point four six nine two nine six. Okay. This is cosine two x. So two x equals cosine power negative one of this number. 0 0.469296, okay. X equals, wait, with calculator, I'm going to calculate first. Yeah, this one. So it means X equals 62.011. Three seven three over two. And I've divided. Yeah, this one. Thirty one point zero zero five seven. Convert and it's going to be zero point five four zero eight seven approximately X okay. zero point five four one. Yes. Take let fx these expressions 3 minus 2x squared over 2x plus 1, x plus 2 squared, express fx in partial fractions. Okay. 
So 3 minus 3x squared over 2x plus 1 times x plus 2 squared. equals a over 2x plus 1, b over x plus 2, c over x plus 2 squared. Now these equations we are going to multiply by this denominator x plus 2. If this fraction times this term, it's going to be 3 minus 3x three squared. And this part becomes a times x plus 2 Square. This part becomes b times 2x plus 1, x plus 2. Okay. While c, this part becomes 2x plus one, okay, I'll, sorry, denominator with squared here. And there are th three possibilities of uh, X values. Firstly that if X plus two equals zero, it means X equals negative two. If X equals negative two, this equation becomes 3 minus 3 times 4, okay, because a times 0, b as well, this is 0, c times 1, sorry, minus Four, okay. Three minus twelve, negative nine. Then C equals minus nine over minus three. Positive three. Uh, the second possibility of x if wait yeah if x equals okay, I'm going to use this space yeah, if two x if two x plus one equals zero. It means x equals minus of substitute into this x uh, into these equations three minus uh, one over four times three okay negative half uh, plus two equals three half squared it becomes zero, okay, because two times negative half, okay, negative one plus one, zero, so it's zero, zero as well. Nine four a equals okay four. Uh, Okay. 
12 times 3, 9, okay. So A is 1. After that, the, the third possibility is x equals 0. If x equals 0, this equation becomes 3. Uh, sorry. Times four one times two two C K okay. so three equals four A to B plus C. C equals 3, A equals 1. Substitute uh, the values, so 4 times 1 plus to B plus 3 equals 3. Four plus to B plus three equals three. To B equals three minus three plus uh, minus four. Sorry. So to B equals negative four. B equals negative four over two. B equals negative two. So uh, wait. So this uh, this equation, yeah, this form becomes. I'm gonna write in here. X plus one times X plus two squared. A equals 1, so A over 2x plus 1, B equals 2, okay, so it becomes negative 2. C equals 3, so 3 over x plus 2 squared. It's still the part, uh, the partial form. Okay. Yeah, the partial fraction. And let's find the exact value of this integral of fx, 0 to 4, giving you answer in the form a plus b Len C, where A, B, and C are integers. Okay. Uh, just now we have uh, created the partial frictions from Fx. If Fx equals 3 minus 3x squared over to x plus 1 times x plus 2 squared dx. Okay. okay. I'm going to create a new integrals like the partial fraction. Okay. 1 over 2x plus 1 dx minus 
integral 2 over 2x, uh, sorry, x plus 2 dx plus integral 3 over x plus 2 squared. Zero to four. Okay. So firstly, I'm going to find this uh, outcomes of the integral, and after that, submit uh, substitute four and zero. Integral one over two x plus one dx. For these integrations, okay, u if u equals to x plus one, it means the u equals to the x half the u equals the x. So this integration becomes integral 1 over u, okay, 1 over u uh, times half the u, because dx equals half the u. So it is integral 1 over u, the u. Okay. Equals 1 over two learn learn u okay plus c right if u equals two x plus one it means it becomes half the modulus two x plus one Plus C. Okay. And secondly, secondly, this integration. I'm going to find the outcomes first. So if two over x plus two the x. Okay. If u equals x plus 2, it means the u equals dx. So it becomes 2 integral 1 over u du. It is 2 times ln u plus c. 2 times ln modulus 1 x plus 2 plus c. Thirdly, this one, okay. Okay, the third integration, 0 to 4, 3 over x plus 2 squared dx okay uh wait the indefinite integration for us after that substitute four and zero x plus two power negative two dx If u equals x plus 2, it means the u equals the x. So this integration becomes 3 integral 
youth power negative to the U. Three times one over negative one U power negative one. Okay. Let's see. Three times a negative one over U plus C, a negative three over U plus C. So it is negative three over X plus two plus C. So there are three outcomes. One, two, and three. So, okay, now we are going to move to uh, the definite integral. Integral zero to four. Okay, uh, the first integration is this one. One over two x plus one dx. Indefinite integral has okay. half then modulus to x plus one okay. and becomes half times. Eight plus one, nine, okay. minus zero, okay, one, okay. sorry, okay, equals half times this, uh, learn one equals zero, so times then three squared okay. times two learn three learn three okay the second definite integral Two over x plus two dx. Okay. Becomes two times zero four. And the uh, outcomes of the inter integration is when x plus two. Two times Level six minus learn two, okay. So two times okay, two times learn wait. Better I I'm gonna create like this. Two learn six minus two learn two learn six squared minus learn two squared. Thirty six minus learn four.
the third definite integration. One over two x plus one. The x plus two. Okay. X plus two dx. Zero to four. And this integration becomes negative three just now. Okay. We already found the integration. Becomes negative three over four plus two over six, okay, minus negative three over zero plus two. Negative half plus three half one. Okay. So the integrations of x integration of x equals ln three ln three minus uh, learn 36, okay, plus learn 4, because it's negative, and plus 1. So it means learn uh, learn 3 plus Learn four minus learn thirty six. Uh, it becomes multiply three times four plus one here. So learn twelve. Of what thirty six plus one plus one here, okay. One plus learn half, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Next number nine. The constant a is such that. This integration so show that a equals uh, this expressions. Okay, we're going to using this uh, partial integrations or partial integral that integral u d phi equals u times phi minus integral phi du. So it means these expressions and this one, but we are going to, we are going to uh, to prove that a equals these expressions through this integration. Okay. If u equals x and d phi equals e power negative 2x integral d phi equals integral e power negative 2x. So phi 
negative half p e power negative 2x plus c. Uh, it's based on this, based on this form, okay. UDV means integral UDV integral this uh, this one. X e power negative two x dx okay. equals this expressions okay u x okay x uh, or a okay because uh this is a and zero so we change becomes a a times negative half e because phi this one okay minus integral phi uh, becomes uh little becomes plus here okay yeah because the u equals dx okay Okay, one over eight. So if we multiply eight times, so one becomes negative half a a e power negative two x. Okay, I've got this integral. plus integral e power negative 2x dx. Equivalent, I'm going to use that symbol. Okay, then it becomes Negative a e power negative two x. Uh, integral e power negative two x becomes half in front, so it becomes one fourth times e power negative uh, negative two a. Okay. Yeah, if this is four and zero here, it becomes uh sorry, not for a, I mean a. So a and as well minus e power zero. Okay. Yeah. Because two times zero equals zero. Half a e power negative two x. Okay. I've got this um, multiply e power negative two a is one plus one fourth equals one over eight, and I've got that. Uh, this equation times a, okay, it times a becomes negative four. Okay, if times a negative two, if times four, two, if times a plus two is if, if times a equals one. Okay. And it is 
2 minus 1. x minus 2e power negative 2a and f2 minus 1 it is a positive 1 here okay after that times negative one, positive four AE plus two E power two A, and so on to two A already two A, this supposed to be already two A, okay. So minus one becomes equals one, positive one. After that, factorize times four a plus two okay. equals one. e power negative 2a equals 1 over 4a plus 2. Or, uh, we may change it becomes a, uh, e power positive 2a equals 4a plus 2. Then the next step, learn, learn e power to a, learn for a plus two. And based on uh, the learn rules, the learn rules, it becomes to a, learn e. Equals to learn for a plus two. Okay. Learn e equals one. So to a equals learn for a plus two. Or a equals half. Learn for a plus two. We verify by calculation that A lies between 0 0.5 and 1. Okay. Just now, we already found that A equals half learn for A plus 2. Okay. Or we may create this equation becomes A minus half learn for a plus two equals zero. So, and this is fa. Okay. So what if f zero point five? Okay. This expression becomes 0 0.5 minus half, learn uh, 2 plus 2, learn 4.
becomes 0 0.5 times, um, sorry, 0 0.5 minus half times 4, 1.386 okay, by calculator. So 0 0.5 minus okay, by calculator or by 2, 0 0.6. Nine three one four seven. Okay, I'm going to calculate first, becomes negative zero point one nine three one four seven eight. This number less than zero. How about if a equals 1? If a equals 1, uh, this expression becomes 1 minus half ln, half ln 6 because 4 plus 2. So 1 minus half ln 6. 1.791759. So 1 minus, okay, I'm going to calculate first. 0 0.89529. It is zero point one zero four one two one. This number greater than zero. Okay. Through this uh this number and this number, we can say that yeah, the sign. was changed so a lies between 0 0.5 and 1 c use in Iterative formula based on the equations A, okay, to determine a correct A to determine A correct to two decimal places, give the result of its iteration to four decimal places, okay. Based on equation in A, okay, this equation is one. So A equals uh, half learn for A plus 2. Okay. Now, firstly, A1 equals 1. So we start with this number, 1. Okay. So it means the next A Second A, half, learn four times one. <clears throat> That's two, half, learn six. Half times learn six, okay, with calculator, I'm going to calculate first. Okay, this number one point seven nine one eight zero point 
एक नाइन फाइव नाइन के एट थ्री हाफ लर्न फोर टाइम्स दिस दिस नंबर जीरो पॉइंट एक नाइन फाइव नाइन प्लस टू हाफ लर्न Okay, I'm going to calculate first. Okay, plus two. Five point five eight three five. Okay. So half times learn this number. Zero point eight five nine nine. Okay. The next a half learn four times this number zero point eight five nine nine plus two half times how much? Okay, this one point six nine three seven. So half times this number zero point eight four six nine. Next half times learn four times this number. Zero point eight four six nine plus two. Half times one point six eight four one, and the result zero point. Eight four to zero. A six half times learn four times this number. Okay, half times. One point six eight zero five zero point eight four zero two. Okay, students, so I uh, look the patterns. I uh, just two decimal places. So zero zero point eight four zero point eight four zero point eight four. So we can take in the conclusion that a equals zero point eight four. And the polynomial. This expression is defined by px. So px equals x cubed plus 5x squared plus 31x plus 75. Show that x plus 3 is a factor of px. I'm going to use Horner method. If the remainder equals 0, it means x plus 3 is a factor of px. 1. Five thirty one seventy five. Okay, uh, divided by negative three because x plus three equals zero, so it means x equals negative three. One negative three times one negative three. 
negative three times two, negative six, 25, negative 75. And the remainder equals zero. Remainder equals zero, it means x plus three is a factor of px or x cubed plus 5x squared plus 31x plus 75. Uh, we can factorize becomes x squared plus 2x plus 25 times x plus 3. B show that B show that z equals negative 1 plus 2 square root 6i is root of p z. Okay. I'm going to write down px equals x squared plus 2x plus 25 times x plus 3. Okay, it means PZ equals Z squared plus 2 times C is 25, C plus 3. Okay. Z equals negative 1 plus 2 square root 6i. Okay, it means P negative one plus two square root six i comes c squared negative one plus two square root six i squared plus two times negative one plus two square root six i plus twenty five. times negative one plus two square root six i plus three, this one. Uh, we are going to look that if we substitute this, uh, this expression's gonna be zero, okay? If zero, it means Negative one plus two square root six i is a root of p c. Okay. Negative one squared one. Then two times negative one times two square root six i. Uh sorry, four square root six i. And then this one negative. Okay, because i squared is negative. 4 times 6, okay, minus 2, okay. 2 times 2 plus 4 square root 6i plus 25, Three minus 1, 2 plus 2 square root 6i, and then 25 plus 1, 26, okay. And this is 24 minus 2, 26, 4 uh, square root 6i plus 4 square root 6i times 2 plus 2 square root 6i, 0, 0 as well. So zero times two plus two square root six i equals zero. So negative one plus two square root six i is a root of p z.
and find the complex number z, which are roots of p z squared equals zero. Okay. I'm going to start with this function that px equals x squared plus 2x plus 25 times x plus 3. or pc equals c squared plus 2z plus 25 times 3 plus 3, right? Uh, there are three values of z. Uh, firstly, this one, z equals negative 3, and there are two more values of z this. So how to find z? Okay, I'm gonna find through ABC uh, formula. Plus 25, okay. For sure this equation, so the grid becomes equations because we are going to find this, uh, this value. C1 and 2 minus 2 plus minus square root 4 minus 100 because 4 times 1 times 25 times 1 Negative 2 plus minus square root 96. Negative 2 plus minus square root 16 times 6. Okay. And negative this one. Sorry, negative. It means 16, 4. Okay. 6 and i here because i equals negative, equals square root negative 1. Okay. Okay, I'm going to use this space. Z1 equals negative 2 plus 4 square root 6 i over 2. Negative 2 plus 2 square root 6 i. Z2. Negative 2 minus 4 square root 6 i. Over 2. Becomes, oh, this is 1, not negative 2. Because negative 2 over 2 equals 1 here. Negative 1, and this 1 as well, negative 1, minus 2 square root, uh, square root 6, i. Okay. Z1 and Z2, right. It means if, yeah, if PZ equals z squared plus 2z plus 25 times z plus 3. So pc squared becomes c power 4. Yeah. 2z squared plus 25. z squared plus 3. Okay, yes, now we have found that z1 is 1, negative 1, plus 2, square root 6i, and z2, negative 1, minus 2, square root 6i. Okay, so I'm going to start with uh, the, oh, sorry.
Okay. So there are three Z that uh, if P C squared like this, it means C squared equals negative one plus two square root six I over two. Okay. And then, oh, not over two, already. Sorry. Because of this one. I'm going to show you this. Okay, this one. Okay. Negative one plus two square root of six. Y. Okay. And then another C squared. Negative one minus okay, two square root six i and the next c squared equals negative three okay because this one okay c squared equals negative three if c squared equals negative three it means c squared okay so this one. Z equals square root negative three or a square root three I one. So a positive negative here. So C one equals positive square root three I and C two equals negative square root three I. Uh, this is the already now I'm going to move to this one well, these equations we are going to find Z okay C squared equals negative one plus two square root six. I. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> you know that Z equals A plus B I. Okay. So Z squared, it means A plus B I squared. Of negative one plus two square root six I. A squared okay. minus B squared because B A squared equals negative B squared plus two A B I equals negative one plus two square root six I. Mm -hmm. So this A squared minus B squared equals negative one. <clears throat> And this one, 2abi equals negative 2 square root 6i. So a squared minus b squared equals negative 1. And 2abi equals 2 square root 6i. Okay. Divided by 2 divided. I divided and A B equals square root six. Okay. If A B equals to root six, it means A equals square root six over B. Now I'm going to substitute A equals square root, square root six over B into these equations. I'm gonna move to this space. Okay, a squared minus b squared equals negative one. <clears throat> so I'm going to substitute a square root six over b squared minus b squared equals negative one. Uh, 
six, sorry, six over b squared minus b squared equals negative one. And this equation times b squared is going to be six minus b power four plus negative b squared or b power four minus b squared minus six equals zero. Now we are going to factorize uh, this equation. If factorize becomes b squared, b squared, negative six means negative three plus two, okay. So b squared equals three or b squared equals negative two. Uh, there's no solutions if b is real, okay. So this one, no solution. Okay. While this one b equals square root three. Okay. Let's continue. If b equals square root uh equals square root three, it means I'm going to uh into this equation that a squared minus b squared equals negative one. Okay. So a squared minus three, okay, that's one, a squared equals three minus one, it means two, okay, so a equals square root two, okay, it means c I'm going to move here, okay. Z3 equals square root 2 plus square root 3i. And Z4 equals negative 2. Okay, negative 2 square root 2 minus square root 3. I okay. Yeah. Okay. Now this one. Uh, how about if uh, z squared equals negative one minus two square root six i? Okay. This one. Oh, I need this additional page. Okay. <clears throat> if c squared equals negative one minus two square root six i, and z equals a plus b i squared. Negative one minus two square root six i. I'll expand this expression. X squared minus b squared plus two a b i. Negative one minus two square root six i. A squared minus b squared equals negative one. Two a b i equals negative two six. Okay, negative two square root six i. A squared minus b squared equals negative one and two a b i equals negative two square root six i. 
Okay, from this equation, we can determine that uh, AB equals negative square root 6 because uh, 2 divided 2 and I divided I. If AB equals uh, negative at negative square root 6, so it means B equals negative square root 6 over A. I'm going to substitute into this equation. A squared minus B squared equals negative 1. A squared minus negative square root 6 over A squared equals negative 1. A squared minus it becomes 6 over A squared equals negative 6. Negative 1, I mean, sorry, not negative 6. After that, Multiply these equations, multiply by a squared, a power 4, minus 6, equals negative a squared, a power 4, plus a squared, minus 6 equals 0. Okay, I'm going to factorize because I will find A. Okay, okay factorize A squared. A squared, zero, negative three, and I plus three, sorry, plus three, minus two. Yeah, because 3 minus 2 equals 1. So a squared equals negative 3. a squared equals positive 2. There is no solution for this one. Okay. So we're going to find a through these equations. a equals square root 2. If a equals square root 2, I'm going to using this equation that a squared minus b squared equals negative 1. Okay. So it means 2 because a squared equals 2 minus b squared equals negative 1. So b squared equals 3. Okay. It means b equals square root 3. Okay. So there are uh, two failures of b that b equals square root 3 and B equals negative square root 3. Okay. Now I'm going to find Z. Okay. Z equals A plus BI. It means C square root 2 minus square root 3 i and z equals negative square root 2 plus square root 3 i yeah. 1 plus minus 12 okay And this 5 and 6, so complex number.
complex number of Z R Z one equals negative square root three I okay. Z two equals uh positive square root three I Z three square root square root two plus square root three I okay Z four negative two negative two square root two minus square root three I Z five equals square root two minus square root three i c six equals negative square root two plus square root three i okay okay students thank you for joining with me in this lesson see you